Here we go, my first Chang outside of uh, Bangkok or uh, Pattaya or John Tien, which are all really busy areas. This place seems so laid back. I don't think I'm going to be speaking to too many people. I don't think uh, they'll understand the English. I'll have to start uh, trying my Thai, my, practice my little bits of Thai out on them. See how it goes. Anyway, cheers. Okay, so we're on the port. This is the White Hotel. Uh, got here in plenty of time. There goes my taxi. So we'll have a little look round in a minute. Okay, so I'm now, I've just arrived at the Dwight Hotel. You can see why it's called Dwight. Uh, just at the end of that corridor there, around the corner, is the reception. And they've got various rooms around. But it all looks all looks very white. I've got a ground floor one which is good for me because uh, the cases are heavy so we'll have a little tour of the room. So we go in to start with a uh, fairly small room, got your aircon up there, uh, a little light over the bed, double bed, uh, a <coughs> couple of windows looking into the corridor with curtains. Uh, we have a fair sized TV. She just dropped me off a couple of waters. Fridge down there. A towel for coming out of the bathroom. Somewhere to hang my clothes. And then we're into the shower and toilet. Uh, hot shower. Uh, toilet and sink uh, and a mirror and uh, so it's fairly small but uh, exactly what I'm looking for so brilliant so the price of the hotel was uh, 570 bahts a night I'm staying two nights and I think that works out to just over 1350 somewhere around there so so not too bad for two nights 26 quid so 27 quid so that's the room so I'm going to be taking a look outside and a little stroll around in a bit but uh, first I've got to get my, my, my stuff sorted out and to the reception area young lady there and uh, we're going to take a look outside just outside we've got a bit of a car park somebody's house looks like they do laundry I might uh, be using them before I go to case the Met Right, so if you look down the end there, that's like the main coastal road, I think. Uh, looking down here, we've got a harbour here, so we'll go and take a look. All seems fairly quiet, laid back. Okay, so you can see under there, now over the water. So I couldn't really have chosen a much better place. There's a fishing boat just going out. Okay, so over the water now. We'll start, just look back a little bit. Tons, well tons, loads and loads of fishing boats all moored up. This one's looking worse for wear here. Boats all the way down to the end. That fishing boat going out to sea. And then basically more piers down this way. I'd imagine that I'm going to find my ferry for Coast and Met off one of these piers, but uh, I'm going to take a little walk down the main road now and, and 
just see what's going on down there. We can have a look out there down the end of the pier later, but I uh, don't think there's too much to see. Coast of Met is somewhere out there, not very far. I reckon it's about half hour in the boat, so not very far at all. So we'll go out to the main drag and see what's going on there. I'll get myself a, a beer or, or something to eat. Okay, so just got back down by the, the Dwight Hotel. I haven't for, for a second got a clue why they call it the Dwight, but uh, there we go. Right, so this is my first, my first time out here. There's a little shop here selling shells and shells and calf shells. Right, so come out to the main drag. We've got a big police station over the road there. This is an official looking building over here. Not sure what it is. But not an awful lot along here. Just a big sign for my uh, for my hotel. We'll take a walk along and see. I'll just get in the shade. I'm not sure what that building is. It's a picture of the uh, King outside, and it's it looks a very official building with all the flags outside. Uh, next to that, we've got quite a large police station, and uh, then it just runs down to a few different shops, I think. Of course, you got the standard 7-Eleven here. I think we're going to be finding them all over Thailand. So you've got a second bit road up there to the right, takes you to Bangkok. Maramathang Ding Ding Beach. Land in Cove. That's 10 mark 10k away. It's just over five miles. And then Rayong Aquarium, 3k ahead. So we've got boat tickets down here. We've got a fast ferry tickets there to some edge. So we're going to take a little look down here, see what they got. So that's not too far to walk with my cases down to this boat. Only takes all five, ten minutes dragging them bloody things. There we go. So the ladies told me it's 80 baht for the ferry over to Kosamet. Uh, I have to have proof of my vaccines, which I've got anyway, and I have to have uh, a lateral flow test, uh, either a photo of one taken in the last 24 hours or, or I could uh, bring it along with me and show them and they're happy with that, so that's what I'll do. And uh, I'll be off to go submit on... Go on. It's certainly 
very laid back here. See, they're asking you to wear life jackets on the boats. This looks like it's probably the next boat out to uh, go submit. I don't think I'm going to be stuck for stuck for a ride. So what do you care? And if you look just across there, there's two or three more piers, but I think this is the main one for getting the boats out to Kosa Met. 80 baht, uh, it's just a couple of quid, so it's nothing too bad. There's a boat just coming in. No, I think it's a woman driver. <laughs> it's coming straight at me. Move, move. That's it. Let's check out your driving. And this looks like a ferry boat as well. I think he might have done this once or twice before. There he is, all parked up, sorted out. So that's one of the speed boats that takes you over there. charge a bit more. I'll have a look at the prices for the speedboats later. Rob in no hurry. So I think what we're seeing out there is the green in the distance is the island of Kosamet. So when I get there I'll have to get a taxi to the hotel and then uh, I think after a day or so I'll uh, hire a moped for the for the week just so I can get around the island. It's not a massive island so so uh, should be a bit of fun. So we've got all these old there's a lot of them old fishing boats. I suppose a few of them are ferries as well. Here goes another speedboat look. So it looks a nice boat anyway. I don't think he's going anywhere. It's called the White Shark. Five, 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 I think that means look. Either look or lull, I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to ask some people when, uh, if I get brave enough to talk to anyone. Now this little old shack on the end, I noticed they've got, uh, they've got uh, a little table outside and beer. So I'm going to sit and have my first beer in, case, in uh, Rayong, or just on the outskirts of Rayong, and uh, chill on the pier. Sounds like a plan to me. Yep, I can 
see, I see cold beer in there. So I've got a table to check out. Here we go, my first Chang outside of uh, Bangkok or uh, Pattaya or John Tien, which are all really busy areas. This place seems so laid back. I don't think I'm going to be speaking to too many people. I don't think uh, they'll understand the English. I'll have to start uh, trying my toy, my, practice my little bits of toy out on them. See how it goes. Anyway, cheers. So 80 baht for the boat equates to about £2.40. Sorry, hold on. No, that's $2. Uh, it equates to £1.82p. So, uh, happy with that. £1.82 to get over to the island. I mean, obviously got to pay it to come back over here, but uh, so I've just got the, the taxi fare to the hotel and uh, I've got next week sort of, I might, if I like it on the island, I might stay an extra week, but I'll, uh, I'll wait and see. Yeah, so my first impressions of uh, this little town, wherever I am, is it's very chilled and very laid back. You've got some men over there putting a new roof on their boat. A ferry, little ferry here as well. So uh, yeah, it just seems so chilled, uh, so different to where I've been so far. I am. Hold on. In Fee, P A G. And it's a Mueng Rayong district. So it's a district of Rayong called Phi Mueng Rayong. If anyone's interested. <laughs> okay, so there's one of the white shark boats going out. We've got that white boat over there. Two more red boats, three more red boats, so quite a big company. Over this side, you've got the slow boat to coast the net. So, a few more speed boats down here, but I don't think they're to do with uh, the ferry in. But you never know. That one looks a bit battered over there. That one's like a, like a catamaran type boat. people over here selling food for the ferry and there's the ferry over there so and that's about it really selling food the food smells all right looks a bit uh, shanty town over there but uh, no doubt it's all right. Shop over there, loads of shells and stuff hanging up. And then uh, buy your bikini for your lady when you take her over to the island. Uh, oh yeah, this lady here's got a little shop with a bar. So. Yeah, so it looks like they cater for everybody. The taxes and prices and all that sort of bollocks. Going to get killed. Got flip flops and beat stuff. Selling food and fruit and whatever. But yeah, all good stuff. So, looks like I found the pier that I was after. Just down there. 
my hotel is 100 yards down this road on this side so uh, with that I think I'm gonna call it a, a vlog I'm gonna chill and find another beer and then uh, go back have a chill out back at the hotel and I'm uh, I'll go and have something to eat later on tonight So that's, uh, so that's my little one there, uh, around wherever I am. I'm uh, going to go back to the hotel, sorry car. I'm going to go back to the hotel, just over the road you can see the sign. So I'm going to pop over there and uh, have a shower, chill for an hour or two. And then, uh, and then we'll go out and have a look at... Uh, couple of bars see uh, see what's going on here in the evening it seems I've just been to one little bar I haven't got a clue what the name is chatted with a few English people an English bloke owns it but uh, married to a tie he's been over here years and uh, yeah it was really nice so I chilled out had a beer there had a look around the pier so now you know what it's like around here. I'm going to uh, end this vlog. So please like, subscribe, press the bell button.